Okay, let's do a quick uh, check on this hive. So this hive has uh, two brood boxes. You can't see it in the video, but there's two deep brood boxes. And about 10 days ago or so, uh, we added a honey super. And so we're gonna look at this honey super and see if they put any honey in it. One thing you may notice is this honey super has nine frames in it. So I'm a big fan of putting eight or nine frames in my honey super and you want those frames evenly spaced out. You don't want them shoved tightly together. Now that's in contradiction to a brood box. So your brood box should have uh, all the frames pushed tightly together so they don't keep widening those frames making them hard to pull out. But in your honey super, you want all of these frames spaced out and that makes the bees draw out those frames a little bit wider and it's easier to slice that wax capping off when, you are, um, when you're harvesting honey. Sometimes commercially, I mean, we, we run um, often eight frames in a medium super. So if we have a medium honey super or six and five eighths, we'll often run eight frames. So they get really thick and wide. Um, and they're smaller frames, they can handle the weight a little bit better. Deep boxes, we typically do uh, nine frames, uh, even commercially, and, and space them out. And that's really the key is to space them out evenly. If you leave a big gap, they're just gonna draw burr comb all over the place and make a mess. If you push them all tightly together, you defeat the purpose uh, and they can't widen that comb out enough and it's gonna be hard to slice off those wax cappings when it comes time to harvest. So running nine frames in your honey supers is ideal and it really uh, just helps them widen those frames out a little bit. So we had some foundation up here. You can see they're just starting to draw out this foundation. This box was a mix of foundation and, uh, and comb, already drawn comb. I really don't like, unless you're a brand new beekeeper and all you have is foundation, I don't really like putting a whole entire box of foundation on my hive. I like to introduce a little bit of foundation every year um, and that way my bees don't have to draw out an entire box of foundation. So what I would do is I would put every other frame foundation and every other frame drawn comb and then my bees don't have to do quite as much work and they're much faster drawing out that comb if there's, or drawing out that, drawing out that foundation if there's already some comb up there. So you can see like this was a previously drawn frame from last year and this was a frame of foundation. So we've kind of spaced it every other. And you can see on the side facing away from the comb, they haven't really started drawing it yet, but on the side facing this old frame, they've already drawn it out. So it just, it, it encourages them to move up into the super a little faster if every other frame is comb versus foundation. Now, if you're a brand new beekeeper and all you have is foundation, that's fine. You can put the whole box of foundation on and they'll draw it out. But for year two, I really recommend doing every other. So this is one of those old frames, and this is really the advantage of doing those nine frames. If you look from the side, you can kind of see how wide they've drawn out this honeycomb. And that really just makes it easier to uncap uh, when it comes time to harvest. But they've got a lot of nectar in here. I mean, they've done a great job. You can see they've, I mean, it's just totally full of nectar. I mean, this hive has probably brought in, you know, 20, 30 pounds of honey already. And uh, I can't help myself. This is you never get honey better than uh, fresh out of the honeycomb. It's just so hard not to taste it. You can see it's a super light honey and I just have to taste it and see, uh, see what it tastes like. I'm super curious what kind of honey it is, what kind they're bringing in. Now I'm all sticky. Mmm, it was worth it though. Oh, that's so good. So it's primarily um, uh, pincushion honey or scabiosa. There's a bunch of different names for it, but scabiosa or pincushion. It's a, uh, it's a tall purple flower. It's really common in Texas and delicious honey, kind of a fruity taste to it. So this hive is doing great. I mean, we've, we've spaced out these frames of foundation. They're drawing out the foundation. Um, they are drawing out the, uh, filling up the comb with nectar, just like we had hoped. And so I'm going to space these carefully apart and this hive will hopefully fill up this box of honey in the next week or two.